Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. If you are training a very large machine learning model on Google Collab Session, you might have already faced an issue where Google Collab Session might automatically close. So you, sometimes you have to sit in front of the laptop. Sometimes you might use some kind of a an emulator where you automatically press a key or you might keep a weight on your keyboard so that key is always pressed. So there are a lot of tricks that people usually use. People try to avoid this problem but we are going to discuss a very simple trick in this video which will help you solve that issue but before we move into that section i would like to tell you that anytime you get a free resource on internet like for example google collab we should never misuse it so this is something that i would like to highlight it the trick that we're going to see is only if it is required like for example if it is going to take a lot of time for you to train your machine learning model a deep learning model in this case then it makes sense for you to use this trick and then you know prolong your google collab session closing but uh, there is a purpose there is a reason why google collab is automatically closing because otherwise they provision you a machine and if you if it is not automatically closed if everybody starts using this trick then it means like you are actually using a resource that somebody else might benefit from so this is a free resource everybody in this world uses from developed country, developing country, like all sort of people use this thing. So just keep that, bear that thing in mind, like it's not only your resource, you, you are not entitled to it. So if you want to use this trick, uh, be like, make sure that you are using it fairly, not for any reason at all. So that's something that I wanted to say before we move to the trick. And how did I learn this trick? I learned this trick from this blog post thanks to Patrick for actually sharing this trick with us. So the trick is very simple. Uh, it's quite simple, but uh, I think some genius brain uh, you need uh, for you to come up with this trick. So the idea is very simple. What you do is you actually create a small function and uh, you set an interval to call this function for every given time. And what this function does is all this function does is it goes to your console. Uh, sorry, it goes to this particular button and then it clicks that button in a given interval. So if I do inspect element and if I show you what is that button, you might see that this is a button connect. So what this function JavaScript function actually does is it goes to this connect button and then it clicks it. It clicks it at every given interval. That's what it does it. And because it does this thing, so Google collab session uh, doesn't get closed. So let me show you how to do that. So first copy the, uh, I'll, I'll also give you like, I'll give you a gist where you can find this, um, the function. So I'll, I'll link it in the description. You can check it. Right click on your browser, click inspect element. Once you click inspect element, you have to open the console. So what I might do in this case is I might actually detach my console so that you can, you, you get to see this slightly big. I'll detach this. So I have detached this, I just zoom in. So I've zoomed in quite big. So I'm going to just write this function. Okay. So simply I'm going to say, write this, the first part of the function, okay, which is defining the function. Can I make it big? Let me see. Okay. It doesn't look like I can make a clear console. Okay. So define the function in such a way that your function is defined. Okay. Function connect button. Okay. Function connect button is the function name and then you just try to print uh, connect pushed every time and then what you want to basically click is uh, you want to click the connect okay and that's what you want so after you define the function now you assign a variable so let me say in this case i'm going to call it connect is equal to oops sorry is equal to set interval and what is the function name our function name is connect button I'm going to say what interval I want it to be clicked. So let me say in this case, I'm going to say one minute, sorry, a second. I think it's microsecond. So you can actually see here that it is getting clicked. And when you do this thing, you should always remember that you are actually using your CPU resource for you to do this thing. Already Chromium based browsers take a lot of CPU resource. So you're basically going to, you know, use a lot of your local machines resource. And again, like I said, use this diligently if it is only required. Now um, your Chrome session, your collab session will not close uh, because of the reason that a uh, collab might assume that you are actually clicking and then you are active. So your training is going to now. So what to do after the training is finished? What, what if you want to, you know, close this after your training is finished? Quite simple. We have already assigned this. Uh, when you made this function call, we assigned it to the variable. 
so what we are going to do is clear interval you can see clear interval and then we can say connect is the object name right so that's the object name and then i'm going to say done so it stopped if i want to call it back again i would say bar connect is equal to whatever i want and then if i want to stop i'm going to say clear interval of connect so ideally uh, it's good when you set up this thing um, around like uh, 60000 i think that's what um, that's what patrick has said you quickly see i think he had 60000 so it's good it's good for you to set up something like that so you are not you know wasting your cpu resource so it gets closed only when it is required to get closed otherwise if you are going to set a laser time so you are going to see that flickering thing which which you might feel like you know you're watching a science fiction movie but maybe uh, you you are actually i don't know if you can actually hear like my cpu um, my local machines ram uh, fan has started you know blowing up so the, the, because he started using a lot of cpu resources so uh, setting a large time interval would save you from uh, running out of your cpu resource that's one thing second thing you are not unnecessarily disturbing this environment and uh, if you want to close it like we discussed so you just basically go back and then close it so just quickly i'll show you once again right click inspect element so if you are in the cell it might not work so maybe go here on the top and then say inspect element after you inspect element um, the easiest way is uh, you have you have to define the function so the function i'll give it in the gist you can copy and paste it after you define the function you have to assign it to a variable so in my case like i'm going to say var maybe i can say collab is equal to set interval and connect button and then how frequent i want so let's say 10 millisecond after i run this you can see like every 10 millisecond it is getting connect uh, uh, printed so if i want to stop it i'm going to say clear interval and what do i want to clear interval i want to collab clear the collab the object name that i created so it's done you can happily finish your training process and then close the google collab resource and then disconnect it whatever you want to do so this is a very simple trick once again i would like to give credit um i got to learn from this uh, from hugging face blog post patrick uh, thank you so much for this amazing resource and uh, you know these are like subtle things that you do not notice usually online but uh, somewhere it is hidden subtly and that can actually make a huge difference like for example uh, google collapse session closing like how to avoid this this has been a big um, big blockage for a lot of people which might you know now you can actually while the model is getting trained you man you might actually use some maybe you can go for a walk you can do anything like that so you don't have to actively sit in front of your computer and again just like to remind it this is a free uh, machine that google gives you use it diligently do not take away somebody else's resource so i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any questions please let me in the comment section otherwise share this video with your friends happy coding